In this video, we are going to find out what Tesla's magnifying transmitter really was, what it was supposed to do, and how. This is but a brief and simplified overview. I plan on making a series that will go much deeper into the design and workings of this fascinating machine. We know that Tesla built a magnifying transmitter in Waterclip, and the most eye-catching thing over there was of course the tower. So people went through Tesla's work and found this pattern that also depicts a tower and assumed that this is the magnifying transmitter. And so today you often hear things like this. I, I just built a magnifying transmitter. <laughs> But after this video, you will understand that it's a bit more complicated. So what clues has Tesla left us? We read in an article of 1905 that it consists of two circuits, one freely vibrating and one driving circuit. Note that Tesla says circuits, not coils. This description matches the circuits provided by Leland Anderson in the so-called rare notes one of which can also be found in the Long Island notes. In his autobiography of 1919, we find many clues on what it was and what it would enable, but also the time period during which Tesla said he was working on this device. If we match that with his article, The Problem of Increasing Human Energy, we find that he was working on a self-acting engine during this time. This engine consisted of five parts, an oscillator, a compressor, a part that would make it into a refrigerating machine, and the last two parts would add a regenerative loop. That means that the output of one cycle is reused to precondition the input for the next cycle. Thus, massive amplification can be achieved. So now we have some idea. How does this match the other evidence? Pretty good, I'd say. There's one thing that still feels strange, and that is the giant inductor with a small resistance that is mentioned. But if you read the pre-hearing interview carefully, then you will learn that Tesla considers the Earth to be a part of the free circuit. And this is a giant inductor. How does this apply to the Colorado Springs experiments? Well, have a look at these. Now if we take the September 6th circuit, make a small modification, we get this. And this may be what we see here. So a magnifying transmitter is a resonant transformer that creates a standing wave in the Earth's electricity and reuses this effect to send ever stronger impulses into the Earth. Hence the name magnifying transmitter. But there's still a lot more going on, which I will explain in the video series that I am preparing. Mm -hmm. 